back to SLN Academy. In this module, let us check what are Roman numbers and Roman number system rules. Friends, please click on subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get new video updates on this channel. And don't forget to like, comment or share. What is Roman number system? Roman numerals are a numeral system that is originated in ancient Rome. Numbers in this system are represented by combination of letters from the Latin alphabet. How to write Roman numeral of a number? Let us first look at Roman numerals chart. In Roman numeral system, seven letters of the alphabet, each with a fixed integer value, are used to represent any number. I equal to 1, V equal to 5, X equal to 10, L equal to 50, C equal to 100, D equal to 500, and M equal to 1000. One place they are often seen is on clock faces. The hours from 1 to 12 are written as 1 is represented with single I, 2 is represented with two I's, 3 is represented with three I's, 4 is with IV, 5 is represented with V, 6 equal to VI, 7 equal to V I I eight equal to V I I I nine equal to I X ten equal to X eleven is represented with X I twelve is represented with X I I The notations I V and V I can be read as one less than five which is 4, and 1 more than 5, which is 6. In the same way, the notations ix and xi can be read as 1 less than 10, which is 9, and 1 more than 10, which is 11. These notations are like finger count sequence. Did you know? Did you know which is the only number that cannot be represented by Roman numerals? The number 0 does not have its own Roman numeral, but the word nulla, which means none, can be used to refer the same. Roman numeral system rules What are Roman number system rules? There are a few rules which tells you how to write numbers with Roman numerals. Let us see them in detail. Rule number one, additive notations. Roman numerals express numbers as sums and differences. When a small Roman numeral comes after a larger numeral, we add it. For example, Take Roman numeral VI. Here, V equal to 5, which is larger numeral, I equal to 1, which is smaller numeral. Here, smaller Roman numeral came after a larger Roman numeral. So, we add it. Take Roman numeral XI. X equal to 10, which is a larger numeral here, and I equal to 1, which is smaller numeral. Here, smaller Roman numeral came after a larger numeral. So, we add it. Roman numeral LX. L equal to 50, which is larger numeral. X equal to 10, which is smaller numeral. Here, smaller Roman numeral came after a larger numeral. So, we add it.
Roman numeral CX C equal to 100 which is a larger numeral X equal to 10 which is a smaller numeral. Here smaller Roman numeral came after a larger numeral. So we add it. Roman numeral DC D equal to 500 which is a larger numeral C equal to 100 which is a smaller numeral. Here again smaller Roman numeral came after a larger numeral so we add it. Roman numeral MC M equal to 1000 which is a larger numeral C equal to 100 which is a smaller numeral. Here smaller Roman numeral came after a larger numeral. So we add it. Rule number 2. Subtractive notations of Roman numerals. When a smaller Roman numeral comes before a larger numeral, we subtract it. For example, Roman numeral IV, I equal to 1, which is a smaller numeral, V equal to 5, which is a larger numeral. Here, smaller numeral came before a larger numeral. So, we subtract it. Roman numeral IX I equal to 1, which is a smaller numeral, X equal to 10, which is a larger numeral. Here, smaller Roman numeral came before a larger numeral. So, we subtract it. Roman numeral XL X equal to 10, which is a smaller numeral, L equal to 50, which is a larger numeral. Here, smaller Roman numeral came before a larger numeral. So, we subtract it. Roman numeral XC X equal to 10, which is a smaller numeral, C equal to 100, which is a larger numeral. Here, smaller Roman numeral came before a larger numeral. So, we subtract it. Roman numeral CD C equal to 100, which is a smaller numeral, D equal to 500, which is a larger numeral. Here, smaller Roman numeral came before a larger numeral. So, we subtract it. Roman numeral CM C equal to 100, which is a smaller numeral, M equal to 1000, which is a larger numeral. Here, smaller Roman numeral came before a larger numeral. So, we subtract it. Rule number 3 In Roman number system, repetition of a Roman numeral means addition. The numbers I, X, C and M can be repeated three times at any one given time. Example, let us take numbers 1, 2, 3. Number 1 is represented with single I. For number 2, I is repeated twice. For number 3, I is repeated thrice. Here, I is repeated maximum of three times. Let us see how many times x can be repeated at max. 10 is represented with 1x. 20 means 2 tens, so x is repeated twice. 30 means 3 tens, so x is repeated thrice. Here, x is repeated maximum of 3 times. Repetition rule of C. 100 is repeated with 1C. For 200, C is repeated twice. For 300, C is repeated thrice. Here, C is repeated maximum of 3 times. Repetition rule of M. 1000 is represented with 1M. For 2000, M is repeated twice. For 3000, M is repeated thrice. Here, M is repeated maximum of three times. 
Rule number four. The symbols V L D can be used only once at any one instance. For example, let me take numbers four, five, six, where V is used. Here, symbol V is used only once. Now, let us take numbers forty, fifty, sixty, where symbol L is used. Symbol L is used only once in forty, fifty, sixty. Let us take numbers four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, where symbol D is used. Symbol D is used only once in four hundred, five hundred, and six hundred. Rule number five. Only I, X, and C are used for both addition and subtraction. Four equal to five minus one. Here I is used for subtraction. Six equal to five plus one, and here I is used for addition. Forty equal to fifty minus ten. Here. X is used for subtraction. Sixty equal to fifty plus ten. Here, X is used for addition. Four hundred equal to five hundred minus hundred. Here, C is used for subtraction. Six hundred equal to five hundred plus hundred. Here, C is used for addition. Rule number six. This is the rule for i. The symbol i can be added or subtracted from v and x only. Here, i is added to or subtracted from v only, and here i is added to or subtracted from x only. So the rule is: symbol i can be added or subtracted from v and x only. Rule number seven. This is the rule for symbol X. The symbol X can be added or subtracted from L and C only. Here X is added to or subtracted from L, and here X is added to or subtracted from C. So the rule is: symbol X can be added or subtracted from L and C only. Rule number eight. This is the rule for symbol C. The symbol C can be added or subtracted from D and M only. In these examples, C is added to or subtracted from D, and here C is added to or subtracted from M. So the rule is: the symbol C can be added or subtracted from D and M only. Did you know? Did you know what is the largest number that can be represented in this notation? Any guess? The largest number that can be represented in this notation is. Three thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Let us see how to represent three thousand nine hundred ninety-nine using Roman numerals. Three thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine is regrouped as three thousand plus nine hundred plus ninety plus nine. Three thousand equal to three m's plus nine hundred equal to c m plus ninety equal to x c. Plus nine equal to i x. Three thousand nine hundred and ninety nine equal to m m m c m x c i x. Now it's question time. Question one. Write Roman numeral for number four hundred. Question two: Write the number of L X in Indian or in international number system. 
Question number 3. Write Roman numeral for number 110. If you like our videos, hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't yet. Check the description box for more video links of our channel. Write your answers in the comments section given below. And you can be the winner of the episode. Hurry up and get a chance to get featured by the end of our videos.